Hi, I'm Alan Player. I'm the Director of Youth Services here at the Pomeroy Center, and this is one of our rooms. This is Group A. Group A is for our currently our uh, elementary school kids, our youngest kids, but we are hoping to make this room also one of our pre-K program rooms, so we need to make a lot of adaptations for it. One of the things that we need to do as far as adapting is the new floor. Our floor gets very dirty, and if we have younger kids, we are most certainly going to have them waddling around a lot more. And to have a floor that's clean, a little bit safer perhaps, or to even have mats that can be easily folded out and made ready for the kids. A lot of younger kids, they like to pull and on things, and you'll see these curtain rods will not make it through anyone weighing more than 20 pounds. And our kids, as you see, we tie it up so they don't grab it so much. But curtains would be nice because having curtains can let us adjust uh, the light level. Um, it also allows us, if there's an activity going on there, we want the kids to focus in here gives us an excellent opportunity to kind of block that out. It's good to have lighting that's not just off and on. Uh, fluorescent lighting is its very kind of different kind of light and it would be great to have some kind of light that would have a warmer feel as well as an adjustability. See the cabinets, I mentioned the kids like hanging on to things and you can see they like hanging on to doors as well. These cabinets are getting loose, they could be tightened, some of the wood might be fine but having a new cleaning of them, new countertops and new sink would be wonderful. This sink has had more things stuffed down it than probably any other room. Paint brushes, toys, Legos, you name it. If it can fit down there, it gets down there. And kind of a safety thing, you'll see we put screws down here. And the reason why is because we don't want people to open up this window completely and tumble out. These windows are kind of nice, but dangerous. And they don't quite get enough air that you would want. So we're hoping to get some new windows that maybe just flop out uh, from the top end so it's not uh, safety hazard. We're in room B and that's where our middle school school students come and hang out. Um, we have a sink here that has real bad water damage and it is definitely needing replacing with the next year. We're probably going to need new cabinetry uh, for the top part of this. And uh, we have these nice sofas. They work really well because if people spill things or have accidents you can clean these up. But as you can see they've gotten ripped up as well and we could use uh, either refurbish these or even get new ones that can serve the same purpose, kind of comfortable seating, but also won't be damaged as much. Uh, down here we have a, a water damage. We just have a really bad leak. So we no longer have that bad leak, but we do have damage from it on our door that leads out to the patio. Yeah. Um, this is room D. This is for our high school age kids. And you'll see that we're missing a window here. If, um, there's another window over here that's cracked. It would be great to get that fixed as well. Down here, uh, we have uh, just some damage. It just seems to be completed and repainted over. And the group also wants to get a new color. I ended up painting most of these rooms and I don't always do a great job so we probably could get someone that could do a little bit better job. Um, we'd love to have blinds uh, or um, curtains for this area even though we have a lovely view it's always nice to kind of regulate the uh, amount of light that comes in. A lot of our kids are very uh, sensory sensitive and again having adjustable lighting up top as well as having the ability to adjust it here would be wonderful. And we can always use, I mean I like putting artwork everywhere, but we could always use just some more bolts and boards, that sort of thing, so you don't put holes in the wall, you just have a, an area where you can put all the kids' work. And, and so now we're in the changing room. We have this very old medical table that could do just fine, but it's not a great table for changing. It's not very wide, and for changing one that's a teenager, it does get a little bit more difficult here. Plus, we have a toilet here, so when you're lifting someone, you have somewhere to fall. And uh, we'd love to get a bigger changing table and perhaps move the toilet over and that would give us, and hopefully a, a, a table that could come up and down, so having that height makes it easier to change. And plus, uh, we would want to have some kind of adjustment for the pre-K kids, so somewhere else in here to have kind of more of a pre-K changing station would be ideal.